Georgetown, four down, games on, ran a fade wrong, alligator arm, smack in your jaw, the backyard brawl, ain't nothing popping, run, stop, and stuff option, force fumble, take it to the house and pull the musket trigger, wow, you can't step out of bounds too soon, or will your shoulder hit with the boom, he's right out of bounds, out of bounds great play soon, by Jamal Adon, uh-uh, you can't step out of bounds too soon, or will your shoulder hit with the boom, Jamal is more of a laid-back, quiet kind of guy. Uh, you know, just does his job, and he's solid at it. And, you know, like I say, the, probably the best thing that he does is get everybody lined up on the defense. You know I mean? He's, he makes all our calls, all our checks. I mean, he's just a solid football player, and, and you know, he's, he's just a guy, like you say, he does his job, and, and he goes unnoticed a lot, and that's a good thing, playing free safety when that happens. I mean, I'm, I'm not a person who's who shies away from limelight, but I, I don't care to be in it. I mean, publicity and, and, and limelight to me isn't really a big deal. Uh, if it comes, if it comes. You know, I'm fine with my role right now. I mean, I'm not a guy that's gonna come out and say I'm the best at this, the best at that. For me, I'd rather just be quiet and go out and get my job done. Uh, you know, that's how I've been brought up, and, and that's, my personality isn't to make, make noise. Uh, I basically sneak up on the opponent and, and do what I have to do. Letting his play do the talking, Jamal has flourished in the Mountaineer secondary. His ability to make plays all over the field is something he can attribute to his high school football days. Oh, my dad. My dad is a uh, soccer coach, and uh, he's from Ghana, West Africa. So uh, that was a big thing with him. He played soccer in college, and you know I got into college. I mean soccer, and played for a while. Played left forward. Did pretty good at that. Made a couple all-star teams in the area. Played some select ball. And, you know, it was a good. It was a good deal for me as far as getting the foot speed and, and conditioning in, in the off-season of football. So um, that was basically a little hobby that I picked up, and I, I did it all throughout high school. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't do the same, both of them at the same time, so I had to make a choice, and it wasn't hard. Jamal's decision to continue to play football would land him in the national spotlight quicker than anticipated. At 17 years old, I mean, I was a young freshman. Then to be thrown into the fire in Miami, which is basically close to home as possible, and mid-season when you thought you were going to redshirt, it was, it was quite an experience, and you know, I think it helped me a lot. That was a learning experience for me. And to be thrown in the fire, that's, that's the best way to learn, I think. It's the same thing as saying learn how to swim. That's how I learned how to swim. My father threw me in the pool and said, get to the edge. Now, your instinct is going to tell you either get to that edge or you know, die, sink or swim. Over the middle has a man, the pass is broken up. A tremendous hit by Jamal Adai. I like to be remembered as a guy that went full speed all the time. I think I like to be remembered as a, a great team guy and a guy who had good morals and, and standards. And if that can be said about me, I'm fine with that.